your characters' names just so we can. Natalie Allen Lind, and I play Lauren Strucker. Percy Hines White, and I play <laughs> Andy Strucker. <laughs> so, uh, do you think your characters see being a mutant as a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. Yeah, when, when the f series first picks up my character, um, you see her, she's a normal teenager, uh, going through your normal teenage problems, having a boyfriend, having good grades, being the favorite child. That's, those aren't problems. <laughs> in, a teenage world, in a teenage girl's world, that's regular problems. Um, but when, when talking about, I'm getting harassed at my school, and he gets bullied. But you are a boy, a I am a girl. <laughs> There's a difference. That's, but, no, but something you realize about my character... It's so tough having good grades and being the favorite. <laughs> Keeping up grades is hard. <laughs> Keeping up being a favorite child is difficult. <laughs> but when you, first, when you first meet my character, she's extremely normal. Um, but as the series continues, you realize that she's been hiding this secret her entire life, that she is actually a mutant. And in the society that this show takes place in, um, being a mutant is unacceptable. People think that of them as freaks and weirdos and, like you said, threats. Um, and the other really interesting part about it is that my father, Reed Strucker, is a prosecutor for mutants, so he takes mutants and puts them in jail. So my character is extremely afraid to tell her dad that she's a mutant because she doesn't want him to think of her as this weird girl or want to put her in jail. Um, and then something happens. Yeah. Uh, Andy gets his powers and <laughs> shit goes upside down. Yeah. He, he kind of flips all of our worlds. He's kind of the reason that the pilot happens or the storyline happens because he kind of flips all of our worlds upside down and I have to go in and kind of save him. And it, the show is really about us discovering our powers and figuring out how we can help but also how to help ourselves. Can you talk about what your character's powers are? Of course, my character's powers are force fields. You can collect air and make these big shields that can chop through things, that can um, pick things up, and that can stop people. Um, so yeah. Um, I think Andy kind of has unspecified powers, but they're really dangerous, and they destroy things. Yeah, I think my character kind of his character destroys things, my character builds them back up, so we kind of work as a duo. So I saw the sneak peek, um, and initially you guys have a lot of typical brother-sister tension. Yes. Um, does that change now that you have something in common and you're going to be going on the run? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. She, she kind of tries to guide me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, it's yeah, you can see in the preview that um, I think my character, she goes through life kind of scared and alone. Yeah. And not really knowing who she is. And the fact that she finds out that her brother is actually a can relate to her. Especially when he's been this close this entire time when she's been alone. Um, I think it changes her entire aspect of life. And as the series continues, our family, who's kind of broken, meets this other family, who's an underground mutant society, who's also broken. And the two of us can kind of put our pieces together and connect and become this... Kind of sounds cheesy, but one big family, one big happy mutant family. <laughs> so do you guys have to do like a lot of green screen work then for you? A little bit. Yeah. Like practical effects stuff. So. It's really cool because my my power is stopping people. So there's like a scene where I don't want to say what, but I stop somebody, and it, it makes me feel really cool because I'll like do something with my hand, and then all of a sudden these people fly back, and it's kind of a cool people power. It makes you feel. Like something you're actually doing something. His power is really cool. His power, if you guys have seen the preview, mm, is pretty awesome. Your manifestation is kind of like a carry sequence. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, it's exactly like that. Street right? dance. <laughs> yes. In the shower. Uh, just realizing this. In the showers, this, what? Right. <laughs> You're reverse carry. Reverse carry. Yeah, and I'm like yeah. dripping wet. Yeah. But no blood. No blood, but I'm screaming. Yeah, no blood, yeah. Because it's a family show. And there's like those air Doesn't ducts coming though? out of the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> He's having a whole realization. Yeah. Yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> it's a new way to think of your character. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Were you guys fans of X-Men? I mean, did you, are you like comic fans or is this oh, like your first? He's the big, he's like one of the biggest X-Men fans there are. So. No, no, I'm not. Oh, yeah? I haven't even you know, read most knows, of the comics. He knows 
every single thing that I've ever brought up X-Men related. He's like, yeah, this happened in 1963 when he wrote this comic. <laughs> Is this uh, your first time at Comic Con? Yeah. Did yeah. you do the floor yet? The convention center floor? I'm not allowed. They're not allowing us to. We wanted to walk through with a mask. Oh, but it's so fun. I, that's like the best thing here, like meeting all the fans and all the people that are so interested in these comics. It's kind of a, like a, it takes me back because uh, I didn't realize what a following our show already has and it hasn't premiered yet. Yeah. So it'll be really fun to come next year and kind of see how people like it. Yeah. But what about doing it on costumes? Right, right. Stars, I, I we haven't had time. To go, we haven't had time yet, but I want to do it later tonight. That'd be so but cool. But if you did, who would you dress up as? I would be uh, Jim Carrey's The Mask. Uh, I want to go as Hellboy. I don't know why, but I feel like that'd be really fun. <laughs> Yeah, you know they're so making cool. a movie based yes. on Abe Sapien. It looks yes. so good. Yeah. It looks amazing. What does it feel for you guys to be like uh, superheroes? Let's say you're mutants in this case. Uh, uh, like really cool. Something taken from the comic books. Well, I was on a show before this called Gotham. That's um, yeah. DC. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I was I was playing Silver Saint Cloud for a little bit, um, and that was like the first time I've really been introduced to the comic book world and the aspect, like respect that I got to go back and play a character that already exists. So in our world, I just want to make sure that no matter what we do, the main people that are happy are our fans. Wasn't Silver in the in Batman the Animated Series? <laughs> I don't maybe. So. I, 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 I think I'm the first one to... I think I was the first one to play. <laughs> what do you like the most, DC or Marvel? Oh, there's no comparison. I feel like both of the comics are so cool. Honestly, I'm so lucky to be part of both of them. Man, so. Yo, <laughs> just Batman is like the only good thing DC has going for them. I don't like any of the other. Batman and Spider-Man are just the two kings. There's, n I, I'm not interested in any other ones. Uh, except the X-Men, of course. <laughs> Which you love and have read every issue. Yeah. You didn't just say that. You didn't just say that. <laughs> I'm sure none of us got it. No. no. Batman no. is Spider-Man. No. That's it. I mean, like, of course, every, everything else is great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.